stop taking advice from the wrong people. What's up everybody, BC, welcome back to another video. I wanted to shoot this video because as I continuously get questions, I see um, obviously a common thread and I'm really getting tired of seeing this because it's detrimental to your growth as an individual in whatever it is that you're doing, okay? You're taking advice from the wrong people. And again, this isn't just uh, about somebody being unqualified, right? I'm also gonna talk about when you want to do something and then you're studying two people who have conflicting ideas and how much it fucks with your mind, okay? So the first part about people being unqualified, well, we see a lot of that, right? We're in an age where social media gives you this perception that everybody's fucking great at what they do and you really, a lot of times, don't have the ability to be able to tell right away, especially if somebody's a pretty good speaker, um, if they're legit or not, okay? One thing you can look at is longevity. That's one thing. Another is their peers. Not just any peer, I mean successful peers. So somebody's been around and then they're successful peers, meaning, again, I'm a realtor, okay? If the top realtors or people who are doing very well back up a certain person, odds are they probably are legit, okay? So with those two, you already have a gauge of what's going on. That's why I tell people I've been around for years. Yeah, I get a ton of hate for sure. A ton of hate people that call me fake and all this other shit, but it's always from the bottom up, okay? All my peers that I'm doing speaking gigs with and all this other stuff, they're not sitting there trash talking me and saying I'm garbage. They're giving me a thumbs up, okay? I'm getting endorsements from those people. So that's one thing you can look at right now. I guess there never really is a way to know for sure. I guess unless somebody's with Tony Robbins and they've been interviewed by a bunch of people and all this other shit, but we find out later a lot of times that some of these people are not legit or they're stretching the truth a little bit, okay? That's just something to keep in mind because with all these new people coming out, I see people jumping from guru to guru. You need to pick one or two or whatever it is and stick with it because in the beginning, after you've deemed somebody as worthy, we can say, or legitimate, that next step is crucial of figuring out, okay, do they have a conflicting idea with somebody else that I'm studying? Because that's keeping many of you paralyzed. For example, let's say you're a realtor and you study me, I'm telling you to do all the old school shit and someone else that you study is saying, all that shit's dead, don't do it. Well, all you're doing is mind fucking yourself. Because I'm giving you one message that resonates with you and you're like, okay, I wanna do it. Then you go watch the other person and they tell you the opposite and you're like, wait, I thought I was supposed to do this. And you literally bind yourself to inaction. So if you're doing this right now and you've just realized it, leave a comment below. Because this is something you need to crack. You need to not just pick whichever one's easier. Because a lot of people don't study me in sales because I promote the hard shit. And they want to run somewhere else because they're like, well, what he teaches is tough and I have to get rejected and learn skills. I'd rather just go over here and market and pay money. You have to understand that it's not always the easiest route, but... On top of that, right, the next level of thinking is which one's going to be the most effective and which one do I resonate with the most? That's your answer. If you happen to not resonate with me, then cool, unsubscribe or don't watch my videos. That's perfectly fine, right? I, I'm not for everybody. I'm actually for the niche. Once that decision is made, you go all in with whoever it is and whatever their advice is and you do it without perverting the information. Not, oh, I like step one and two, I don't like three and four, uh-uh. You take step one through 10 and you fucking do it, 100%. 100%, okay? Now, you also have to look at what advice you're taking from people in respect to where they're working and what they do, right? If I sit here and try to give you lessons on how to be a master ice skater, I've never ice skated a fucking day in my life. I can sit here and talk theory to you all day and what I've seen and what I enjoy, but it's not gonna work for you because I never ice skated a fucking day in my life, okay? We, we, we've been taught this, this thing that, oh, well, you should listen to everybody and, and listen to their opinion and all that. That's stupid as fuck. So if the guy uh, that, that, that's living in a cardboard across the street wants to give me advice on money and money management, why would I listen to him? He's not qualified. You need to be able to judge to see if somebody's a qualified individual to take advice from, period. This isn't some, oh, that's the right or wrong thing to do. Uh-uh, we're just looking at facts. You could be the most successful person on the planet. But for example, in my case, if I give you advice on how to be a billionaire, I'm not a fucking billionaire. I don't care how good I sound or what ideas I give you, it doesn't matter. I'm not a fucking billionaire. You're not gonna listen to me when it comes to that. We, we need to be able to make these distinctions. Not, well, I'm gonna listen to BC because I kind of like him and I want to listen to his opinion about billionaires. I don't know shit about being a billionaire because I'm not one. 
Just like if I give you advice on how to, again, uh, ice skating, being a billionaire, uh, fuck, how to be a plumber. I don't know shit about plumbing. I, again, I can sit here and make a fancy video about it and talk about it like I'm an expert, but what do I really know about plumbing? Are you getting the point here? How many of us are taking advice from people because they're friends or family or whatever who have no fucking business giving us that advice? You know why? You need to deem somebody as somebody who gives you criticism, your mentor, your teacher. That's the person you listen to. If my mom, shout out to mom and dad, love you guys, but if my mom and dad give me advice on how to be a better real estate agent, I'm not gonna fucking listen. What do they know about being a real estate agent? Nothing. They're unqualified to give me advice on that. But again, take a very close look at your life. You're taking advice from people who have no fucking business giving you advice in those areas. And you listen to it, and then you argue when other people like me tell you that you shouldn't take advice from them. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, well, you know, there's, then <laughs> the argument I get is, well, like two plus two, anybody can tell you that. Well, no shit, fucking Sherlock. We have, we have to use fucking common sense when it comes to this shit, all right? But again, if that guy that gives me two plus two equals four is terrible at math and wants to give me math advice, okay, he knows two plus two equals four. Anything else, what, what, what is he gonna say? Okay, so we have to be able to gain back our ability to judge. Yes, I'm saying judge. I want you to judge me, 100%. I want you to compare me to other gurus and that kind of stuff, because then you can see a clear distinction. I'm the one saying, let's judge, let's do it, please. Because then you can make a better decision for yourself. So again, see things a little bit more clearly than you're being taught to. Pay close attention. Make sure that you're not in conflict. When your mind is in conflict, you're fucked because then that's literally what creates this uh, state of being stuck, okay? So again, if you've exhibited any of these and now that you're thinking about it as I'm speaking and it's coming to your mind, leave a comment below because I want to know. This is huge. This is huge. So we have people that are unqualified. We have people giving advice about subjects they shouldn't be giving advice from. Um, we talked about longevity, right? Somebody who's been in the game for a while so you can kind of see over and over if they're legit or not. Uh, getting we can say, not really criticism, but approval from their peers or successful peers, right? Because that's what you need to look at. At the top of the top of a certain genre, sales, this, dating, whatever it is, they all respect a certain individual. And this is regardless if they like them or not. Pay close attention. They respect their skill in it. That person's legit. I've had a ton of people, shout out to all of them, on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube that we've talked. Now, they don't like my style. They say, I really don't like Brian's style. I don't really agree with it, but I respect him for what he does and he's good at what he does. Cool, that's what I'm talking about because I've said that about people too. I don't like their style, but they're good at what they do. Cool, so I'll cheer them on and I'll respect them for being a peer in this industry or in this genre and being good at it in their own way. Just like uh, whenever I go to speaking gigs, there's people who I listen to speak or who I'm on stage with that I don't really agree with <clears throat> much <clears throat> personally, but I respect them because they're effective and skillful and they're successful in their own way, cool. Some people are gonna resonate with that and learn from him or her. I got no problem with that, it's just not my style, but respecting somebody for their craft and skill is different from a personal thing. And a lot of times, these people that wanna attack a certain individual will say, fuck this, and the attack is purely personal. You need to be able to see that. It's a personal attack, not attack on their skills. It's a personal attack. Those are two separate things. So maybe some of you have incorrectly judged somebody because personally you don't like their style instead of looking at their skill and this is something that you need to look at very clearly and concisely because we've been fooled a lot of people that you've deemed or been talked to about by other people that have told you this thing or this person this book whatever this idea is no good it's a personal attack it is a personal attack and we've been fooled and we've been wearing a blindfold when it comes to that so it's a little hidden gem here for the end because you need to gain back your ability to judge and you need to see things for what they are. Just like the example that I gave you, there's a lot of people who I personally don't vibe with. That's fine. If they're effective, I'll acknowledge them for that because they're effective in what they do. And I can admit that. A lot of people can't. You need to be able to do that, okay? Now, if you really see what I just said in this last 30 seconds or minute, that's a little key that's gonna help you a lot in life in many, 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 many areas, okay? So take a look. Take the right advice, and deep down inside, deep down inside, you know 
with the right advice is many of you listen to me, want to apply what I teach, but you keep making fucking excuses because someone else that you hold in your mind equal to me is giving you bullshit advice that's ass backwards, but you're fooling yourself into saying, well, they said the opposite, so I'm going to listen to them. You need to make a choice. Listen to them or me. Either one is fine. However, make a decision and you're going to thank yourself later. Okay. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I will end the video here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like the video to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, hit that notification bell icon. It's crazy. It's like 60, 70% of the people who are watching my videos aren't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Come on. You're here watching every video anyway. Two last quick announcements. Supreme Being, the podcast, it's on every major podcast platform. Check it out. Link in the description. And lastly, Modern Success, my personal coaching and mentorship program for the planet. Shout out to all the newest members. Our next live event will be very soon. It's members only. Go to briancasella.com. That's also in the description. Everything else that I offer or that I'm affiliated with is in the description. Check it out. If you need anything, as always, leave a comment below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Team BC.